at Las Vegas. This is the entertainment capital of the world, hands down. Michael Jackson! There's nothing like Las Vegas. It's an incredibly unique city to work in. Whatever you want to do in Las Vegas, pretty much you can after hours. But only the locals know where the best after hour hotspots are. <laughs> Living in Vegas is awesome. There's a lot of fun things to do here. I have my favorite restaurants. I'm behind the scenes. The girls here are beautiful. I'll cut off three of my fingers to get with some of them. You know, after hours means going out, having a good meal. Who said you? After hours, we're going to go get ourselves into some trouble. Get up on that bar. They're dancing. This is an all-access pass. Anything goes, and you never know what you're going to see. This is Vegas After Hours. Vegas, man, this is the spot. The entire world comes here and has a good time. With 35 million people coming to Vegas every year, they always think they know where the hot spots are, but it's the locals who really know where the hot spots are. Being a local here is completely different than coming here for a vacation or visiting. After hours in Las Vegas could be any time of day. Pretty much. Every hour is after hours, but people work 24 hours a day here, so my daytime is somebody else's nighttime. Right after everyone gets off work till the sun comes up till we can't do it anymore. <laughs> There's lots of things to do, like hanging out with friends at local bars and restaurants. Hello! It's probably one of the best restaurant cities in the entire world. I'm David Walzog, the executive chef of SW Steakhouse and Lakeside here at Wynn Las Vegas. SW Steakhouse is an American steakhouse that's one of the top grossing restaurants in the country. And then Lakeside, great alter ego to SW and then it's based in seafood. Between the two restaurants, I have about 26 to 28 cooks. Very talented, hugely dedicated, and they want nothing but success. And they work really hard. We're only open five and a half hours a night. So between 5.30 and 11 o'clock, we might have done between 500 and 600 covers. As a chef, there's no better place in the world to work for than Win Las Vegas. No expense ever spared. Our guests demand the finest, and that's what we have to, uh, to really strive for. So I can source lobsters from anywhere in the world. I can source steaks from anywhere in the world and get the best product here every single day, and it's no problem. Lobsters are that like luxurious kind of celebratory thing. And then to see this preparation of cooking them in this wood stone oven that really roasts the exterior and gives it this crisp crust to it. It's a unique preparation method, but I happen to think that it really brings out its flavor to the best that it can. It's an unreal experience and it can only be found here at Lakeside. All right, table 73. Hey, chef. See if you can wrap it up, maybe we can get out of here and get some noodles. Definitely. I can't wait. I'm ready for some beers, too. Let's do it. Working with all these ingredients, lobster and great prime steaks and stuff from all over the world that, you know, we have on our menus at both restaurants gets a little old after a while. So what I like to do is get off the strip, go to Chinatown, have a bowl of noodles at Monta. Step on. <laughs> Tonight I'm going to bring Jason Wades, my wine director at SW Steakhouse, and then Paul Zalados, really great cook. He's one of my sous chefs at Lakeside. Right off the strip, about 10 minutes or so, is uh, Chinatown. Little restaurants, noodle and Vietnamese places. It is really one of the most vibrant Chinatowns or Asian communities. Not too many people know uh, we have a Chinatown in Las Vegas. Asian population here in Las Vegas is about 10%. Chinatown is amazing food. Amazing food. Most of the restaurants there are open to at least 2 in the morning, if not later. So I know that's a big hangout for a lot of restaurant people after hours. Chinatown is about one mile uh, from Strip, and across the street is Spring Mountain Road in Wind. 
Chinatown in Las Vegas is basically one big strip mall. Is it not life's irony that this is tough mind a jack in the box? Yeah, right. <laughs> Classic, classic uh, Vegas, Las Vegas hidden treasure is in a little strip mall in the middle of nowhere, and you walk in, and it's the best you ever had. My name is Takashi Segawa. I own this place, Monta Ramen. We are the only traditional Japanese ramen noodle house in Las Vegas. The average cost for a delicious and filling meal is about ten dollars a person. People love it. It's the perfect place for some great bowls of noodles with really rich, complex broths, kimchi fried rice, gyoza, and most importantly, after a big 12, 13 hour day, some nice ice cold beers. Good, thanks. How are you? Good, thank you. <laughs> Yoshi, the chef at Monta, great guy. He's working 12, 13 hours a day. He's personally making every single noodle dish that comes out of there, and it's a lot. No, so how many people today? 350? 350? Mm -hmm. That's big. Out of this amount of seats, I mean, this is just nuts. It's really busy. It's got that same action that we have in the restaurants, especially in the kitchens. So let me ask you a question. How how much broth in a day? 32,000 pounds. A day? A day. Oh my God. This is crazy. So Yoshi, tonight we gotta have some gyoza, okay. right? And then we're gonna have some noodles, but tonight will you show me how the, how the gyoza are done? Yes. Water going in? Ah, yeah. oh, there it is. Wow. Show me the, what I think is the best one. Tonkatsu show you. Let's do it. So how long? Like any fresh noodle, like two, three minutes? Minute? And behind the scenes, I always see Yoshi looking up at that. I didn't know what it was. It's the clock, because it only takes one minute to get these noodles cooked. Hot pork broth. The shoyu and some chicken broth. I don't want to give the recipe away. <laughs> At the Monta, not only the ramen, but also all the other dishes. We have a secret ingredient from Japan. You cannot get in anywhere in the US. Look at this, how like lovingly, and I swear every single bowl of noodles is done with the same stirring of the chopsticks. It's awesome. Chef, let's see the scales, what do you got? Oh, jeez. Do you think I can make one? Okay. Oh, that's cool. So great. Ah, yeah. Not as graceful, but nice. Not as graceful, but watch. With love. Love. Some of that mushroom, a little bamboo. Look at this. The money. Oh, look. <laughs> Me behind the kitchen. What do I say when I put it in the window? Oh, oh. Mega no, no, it's not. <laughs> Noodles are ready. <laughs> All right. Gyoza, kimchi fried rice, noodles. Cheers, fellas. What a feast. Yoshi, to you, baby. And Captain Cutie. I like to go out to the clubs, get in my dance on, lots of house music out here, it's a lot of fun. I love Artisan. It's a beautiful hotel by itself and it has really, really great after party. If you'd like to come check us out on Fremont Street, we'll be arresting people all day and night long. It's a great city with lots of entertainment. There's, there's so many great performers. You know, they play in at the Chrome Room and um, the Cannery. So many new clubs coming out. There's uh, the Rock and Roll Cantina. A place called Fimp. That's a really cool place. It's out on uh, the west side, and uh, they always have really good rock bands. And uh, there's always a good scene there. It's a fun, fun late night after hours. Rock and roll is alive in Las Vegas. My name is Victor Trevino Jr. and I play the role of Elvis Presley here at Legends of Concert in Las Vegas, Nevada. Las Vegas, there's all kinds of impersonators. You're gonna see them at the bar. You're gonna see them on the strip. You're gonna see them performing at restaurants. And you're gonna see some on stage. For my living, I perform at the Harrods in Las Vegas, Nevada. I mean, how many people can say that?
Legends in Concert is the most successful impersonator tribute artist show in the world. It's been successful for 28 years, and it's older than I am. I'm only 26 years old. I just recently moved to Vegas. There's constant entertainment going around here, and that's what I want to do. I want to entertain. So I knew this is where I had to be. This is the entertainment capital of the world, hands down. Hey, Ken. How are you doing? Good. 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 Okay. I'm Damian Brantley, the Michael Jackson, here at Legends and Concerts in Las Vegas. Michael Jackson right now, uh, possibly one of the hottest characters uh, in the world to do a tribute to, so it's a blessing. I had a lot of fun. When people see the transformation, they're blown away. I come in, uh, really change my entire look. It takes approximately, I'd say, close to an hour, hour and 20 minutes. What, what a foundation does, it gives you a fresh palette to work with now. Now I'm starting the shading and I'm kind of restructuring my jawline. What I actually want to do now is recreate a hairline that's going to go along with my wig. At the end of the process, I, I really believe that I'll, I'll look like Michael. We all invest in our own costuming and makeup. But a little bit over $6,000 this year. Ladies, eat your heart out. Five minutes, five minutes. Well, you get ready, brother? You feeling it? Feeling good? Yeah. So what did you and I do? No real plans, I okay. guess. Wanna go to Posh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm down. Mm -hmm.